Hi, everybody. I wanted to welcome you to tonight's webinar. We're very excited to be introducing you to a new tool that is going to help you differentiate yourself when you are applying to college. I am really excited this evening to introduce you to Ann Sullivan. Ann is the founder of Lifestream Digital. And, you know, as time goes on, we need to move with the times. There was a paper resume way back when, and now you know we've moved into the Common App where you put your activities in. And now so many of you are doing so many cool things and you're getting your name in the paper and you're writing papers that are getting published and you're doing um, like GoPro videos. And how can we let the colleges know that all these cool things that you're doing? Well, now we finally have a solution for you. Um, I came across Anne a little while ago. We got together and we talked and I said, this is the year I wanna launch this for all of our kids so that they can really differentiate themselves in the college admissions process. And also because I'm so darn proud of all of you. I can't believe the things that you're doing. I can't believe the amount of change that you're affecting. And it's just so exciting to me. So I think that this will be a really cool tool for you to use. And I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm going to introduce you to Ann Sullivan, the founder of Livestream Digital. Hi, everybody. Good evening. And uh, I'm so excited to be here. And it was great um, to get to know Lee better and her team um, at Annapolis College Consulting. I love it. Um, you guys are great. I've heard such great things about um, all the work you guys are doing. And I'm thrilled to introduce you to uh, Livestream Digital Memory Box and its portfolio feature. Um, so let me, I'm gonna start out with a little screen share. Lee, can you see my screen? I sure can, I can see All the right. Screen. There we go. Awesome, awesome. So overall, as I know you know from Lee and her team, uh, the College evaluation process is really based off of actually three things. One is obviously your academic achievements, right? And then the other is ability. Do you have the, your other abilities, whether it be in academics or athletics or music or some other um, part of your life? The other thing though, the third thing is what so many students forget about and it is so important, especially during this pandemic year. And that is character. And so, you know, what is character? Well, character is that thing that makes you unique. It's the thing that makes you, you. And admission professionals don't only wanna see character in your academics, but they wanna see character in your special interests and they want to see character in your life. They want to understand what you do with your spare time, in your spare time. And that's because they're trying to create a community, right? And whenever they're working to create a community, they need a lot of diverse interests and other things in that community. And so that's how you can show kind of who you are and what you can do. And they want to see all those pieces. And that's actually what Livestream Digital Memory Box helps you do. And one critical piece that people don't really think about either is, and it's my favorite quote from one of my favorite authors, sometimes you don't know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And that's true in a lot of things in our world, right? So, um, you know, in the things that you do, uh, and the places you go and the people you see. And really people don't think about the fact of what makes you, you. Well, it's your experiences that make you, you, right? Your trips, your vacations, your community service that you choose to do, the academics or artistic talent or athletic talent that you have, your projects that you choose to do or, or do well, um, your jobs, your internships, do you have child care or adult care in your world? Um, what parties do you attend? What dances do you attend? All of those pieces make you you. Now, will you share that all with the college? Not necessarily, and we know that. But all of those things make you who you are. And really, what Lifestream really believes, we believe that if you care about it, you should capture it. 
regardless of whether you want to ever share it. Okay, so we help you capture information. And in our digital world, it's all digital information, whether you're doing schoolwork, or you're on vacation, or you're in a coding class. It's all digital. And so we, we created a solution that enables you to warehouse all those memorable and meaningful things so that you know where it is, you know what it is, you know when it happened, and you know why it's important. And believe it or not, if you do that, that sets you up really well to work with Lee and her team throughout the college application process. Now, those of you who are seniors, you're probably saying, well, we've already done that piece. Well, that's great. But those of you who are, are in your maybe your sophomore year or freshman year or junior year working with Lee, well, you have an opportunity here to start saving this information over time and making a difference for yourself when it comes to your college applications. Now, don't worry if you're seniors, you still have this opportunity and you can create a great portfolio coming out of this. But what's important to know is that what goes into this, into your digital memory box, doesn't have to go into your portfolio. What's great about Livestream is that, again, we created a place where you can be you, and then you can pick and choose the view of yourself by working with Lee and her team to create a great digital portfolio to supplement your application and really help you stand out with your, and then it hopefully will lead to more acceptances and even scholarships too, which we've seen in the application season. So now what I'm gonna do is just switch my screen share to show you the tool. Now, if any of you have any questions, um, I'm gonna ask you to put them in, I guess the Q and A area. Lee, is that where you want the questions? Yes, I think what we can do is uh, if you want to put questions on a Q&A or you just want to write them down because they might get answered as we go through this. But I just want to remind you, this can be a long term or a short term project for you guys. So for you seniors that I have on here, and there's a couple of you, we've talked about this before, you've got so much stuff. You've got times you were in the paper. You've got plays that you've written and produced. You've got times you've walked across a stage to get an award. You've got, um, you know, written articles and things that have been published. Those are the things that I want you guys to be thinking of that can go into this digital memory box and then pop back out in a digital format to be added as an adjunct to your college application. Now for the rest of you who aren't seniors and want to go back, you can save everything. You can save every great moment in your life. And then this time next year, we can decide which of those moments we're going to upload to be part of your college application. So I am just so incredibly excited about this. Thank you so much, Anne. Okay. Just Excellent. Excellent. And that's exactly right, Lee. So, you know, seniors don't panic. The great thing about Livestream is we, we made this really quick and really easy for you to upload into. And I'm just going to show you that right now. So first off, when you create an account, which Lee has been uh, generously offered to provide all of you, um, you can set it up as a family. Uh, I'm actually a mom of two boys. I have a son who is just entering his first year of college this year, and I have another son who's actually a junior in high school. So I not only understand what you guys are going through from a professional perspective, but a personal perspective as well. My boys are in the midst of all of this too. Now, as a mom, I'm the administrator on the account, and each of my boys has their own digital memory box. That's so that I can access the digital memory boxes quickly and easily. Now, but they can only access their own digital memory boxes. You know, they don't need to mess with each other. <laughs> so I'm just gonna enter uh, the team's account. So this is Pat. Um, Pat is a uh, high school um, student. And this is a digital memory box. This is Pat's digital memory box. So you can see the types of things that Pat keeps in her digital memory box. And what's great is our platform organizes this information in this way for you. So it's nice and, and clean and quick and easy to see. Um, when you input uh, digital, the digital media, and again, it can be any digital media format. It doesn't have to only be pictures and videos. It's Word documents, Excel, PowerPoint, 
audio files, um, video files. Again, code can even be saved in Livestream. It won't be run in Livestream, but you can save your code in there. So really nearly any digital media format can be saved in here. And when you enter the visual media, you'll see we organize, the platform organizes it for you so that all your digital media related to a given project is right here on the left-hand side with the description right here on the right-hand side. And you can edit your memory at any time. Now, adding a memory and editing a memory are look exactly the same, so it's the same process. You do this first part pretty much once, um, and you know where you're putting the, the name of the memory, the start date. If there is an end date, you can put the end date. Some projects are ongoing, in which case you don't put an end date. Um, you can put the year, and then you have a nice description here. Then you have tags. Now your, your, your purpose tags is the reason why this memory is special. And again, once you start working with Livestream, you'll see how quickly and easily it is, quick and easy it is to um, just simply uh, select your purpose. Then you want to select one or more categories. Now, again, there are limited. The, the categories are specific, and this is to help you organize where where the information is going to go. You can pick as many categories as you as you think you need. Now, you'll see one category is called life skills and character traits. Well, going back to what I was saying earlier, character is really important, especially this year for admission professionals to see. Livestream is the only portfolio system that enables students to actually identify life skills and character traits within the given memory to show those life skills, either what they've learned or used during that experience in their lives. That's gonna be really important ultimately with the portfolio. So that's why we have that as a category. And then you have your details of your memories. So based on your categories, you'll have detailed tags that you can identify they're in alphabetical order. And again, it's one of those things, once you start doing it, it's gonna become really quick and easy for you to do. And so you, you click on the tags, whether it be adventure, ambition, anthropology. So again, based on your categories, you have your life skills and character traits, you have your academics, and you have your extracurriculars. And you select the ones that you want there. And then you save that and you upload your media. Your media can come from your mobile device, from your tablet, or from your computer. So really you can upload into Livestream from wherever you are. My boys are both hockey players. As a mom, I'm at their hockey games, usually videoing their hockey games. So I'm the one who ultimately winds up uploading that particular game into their digital memory box. And it's easy for me to do right from my phone, right from the game. Now my boys though, they can upload their own work and other things to digital natives like you guys are. So they don't need me to do that. It's just easier for me to do that. So it's nice to have that access. But again, then you just hit save and voila. It looks, it, we reformat it, the platform reformats it for you. So again, so all the digital media is right there for you. So then once you go through, what you wanna do then is you upload information. You know, Lee and her team, their value to you isn't in uploading information. You guys should be uploading it. Just like Lee said, you decide, even the seniors, figure out what it is you need to upload. You've been working with Lee on what, um, on the things that are, are, are um, really important probably for the schools that, that are gonna match up well with the schools to put in here. You wanna put them in. Um, some of these will overlap with your activities section. Some of them won't. You know, like the articles and things are gonna be deeper. There will be deeper value for the admission professional. So that's what you want to work with Lee and her team on, figuring out the types of things you want to save. And then once you've saved them, then you guys will work together to make sure that your descriptions are all, you know, the way they should be. Um, you can save essays. Some of you may be saving some essays. So again, you don't need any pictures or videos to save in Livestream. You can have just a memory with you know your your junior year essays that you've saved um, and just save them in there the most important thing is get it in your digital memory box because if you have it it'll be available for you to select it for your portfolio okay 
I love that. I have to chime in, you know, this is definitely a demo. So this person's got a very robust and wide memory box. For some of you, you might only have uploaded two or three things. That's okay. Um, we're going to choose out of the big box what we're going to put into your little box and send to each school. I don't want you to get overwhelmed and think that you have to have this many things on your in your digital resume. You just upload what shows who you are so that we can show it to then to the schools. Um, I think a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So that is right. what I'm so excited about this platform for. No, that's great, that's great. And again, you wanna, you can upload things, even some vacations can even be meaningful, you know, to admission professionals. I know it sounds crazy, but depending on what you've done and if it showed something, I mean, you learn, you learn to cook or, we go horseback riding, you know, on our on our vacations. Now that's not my kids are not equestrian kids, but it's something that we do, and they learn how to do it over time. It's something that they can show growth in, and something that they are passionate about when we go away together. So, you know, the, some of these things can can do that. So basically, get it in there so that you and Lee and, and her team can work together to figure out what then goes into your portfolio, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So up in the upper right-hand corner, I'm not sure if all of you have your pictures in the right-hand corner, uh, or at least, but if up in the upper right-hand corner, there's a little button that says Create Portfolio. So we're gonna click on that, and then we're in what is called Portfolio Mode. Now, to create your portfolio, if you want the whole memory, like we want the entire Science Fair project, you click on the outside of the memory, okay? Now let's say, Again, let's go back to those high school essays. Out of the five essays that you saved, you only want to save two, then you just select the two. So you can save anything you want in your digital memory box, and then you can decide right down to the media level what exactly you want in your portfolio. So again, what goes in doesn't necessarily have to come out. And in fact, I think, yes, I did. I put a high school prom in here. Actually, my older son had it, well, he didn't have a senior prom, obviously, because of the pandemic, but he did have a junior prom, and he did save his in his digital memory box. Not because he's ever going to share it with a college, but because this is his. And so, you know, this is, and it's for him to just have um, ongoing. Um, and so, again, just go through, make sure you select out what you want. You want to preview, then preview your portfolio. Um, and in previewing a portfolio, what you're doing is just making sure that, you know, in the essays, the only the two essays that you selected are the essays that um, are being shared. Um, and so you just go through, double check everything, and then you save your portfolio. And um, I'm just gonna... Okay, so I'm gonna... And the portfolio is created that quickly and that easily. Now, what's even better is that you, sorry, I have to move the pictures around here. <laughs> um, so, sorry, I meant the pictures of, of you all. I can actually, because I'm a, um, a panelist now, I can actually see, so I'm gonna move those over. Okay, so now we are in the portfolio list. You will see there are multiple portfolios in here. Um, and that's on purpose. So you can create different views of yourself depending on where you're sending your portfolio and where you're applying. Now, also, if you found or you realized that you made a mistake in your portfolio, you want to go back, you can always easily delete it with this little red X on the right hand side and just go back and redo it. You saw how quickly and easily it was to create the portfolio. And so um, all the portfolios that you create are here. Now, you may be able to have one general college portfolio. And then, you know, which case you can send the same portfolio to all the schools. Again, it goes back to, are the schools asking for something specific? Is there a specific view that you need to send to one school that's different from another school for whatever reason? Um, and if that's the case, then um, you'd wanna do that. My son applied to 10 schools eight of which he could send the same exact live stream portfolio. Um, and then two of, two of his schools had um, specific requests. 
So he wanted to meet those specific requests, obviously at minimum, and then put the rest of his information, you know, have the full portfolio. But he wasn't, they weren't necessarily things that he would have sent to the other colleges. So we basically had three portfolios for him total. Um, but that's, that was easy enough to do. When you have your portfolio and you're ready to send it, you just hit copy link right here on the right hand side. And then you paste it. You paste it into your common application, your coalition application, or any online application. And I'm gonna paste it here and go. Now the names that are on the portfolios, as you can see, are not in the URLs that are sent to the school. So you don't have to worry about what you've named your portfolio. Um, so I think I have a Harvard NDL one in here, I don't know. So it doesn't matter what you named it because it's an anonymous link that gets sent. But this is a Lifestream portfolio. And Lee, I just wanna double check, you can see the portfolio. Lee, can you see the portfolio? Uh, I can see the okay. portfolio. Yay, okay, just checking. Because sometimes the Zoom doesn't change over the screen. Okay, so this is your Lifestream portfolio. It looks exactly like your digital memory box. The key difference is they can't edit it. And it only contains the things that you all selected to put into that portfolio that you sent with your in that application. And what's really great is that anyone who has access to that application has access to the, this portfolio. As I mentioned, my boys are hockey players. So the hockey coach got the same portfolio as everybody else. Why? Because obviously he's gonna look at my son's showcase video. That's the main thing he's gonna look at, and maybe some other things that are hockey related. But they need, these coaches need to be able to advocate for students as well. So even if that coach never opened up anything else, that coach can see more about who that applicant is and what they can do for that school community outside of their athletic talent. Same with artists. Artists should put their, their items in their digital portfolio, obviously. And they're gonna have lots going on in this column here with art, and they're gonna see their talent. But they also need to be able to advocate for you as a person going to that school again, for that full community that they're looking for. Even if you're going to an art school, they're creating a community. So they're gonna to wanna to see what other interests that you have to make sure everybody's gonna to come together well as a community and be the right fit. And what they really love about Livestream is its organization. Again, all the digital media is right here for them on the left-hand side, and the description's right here on the right-hand side. Today, college admission professionals are receiving customized websites, they're receiving Google Drive links, they're receiving Dropbox links. And for the student, it all sounds well and good. But the problem is when admission directors are receiving thousands of these things, while the student knows where they put the information, the admission professional does not. And honestly, they don't have time to search through. They spend an average of seven minutes on an application. And only if you capture their attention will they spend more. And so what Livestreams enable them to do is because we have standardized portfolios in a standardized format that's clean and easy for them to see and view, they can find what they want to see quickly and easily. And they may find something that captures their attention. I had an admission professional say, I spent way too much time on my applications this year because I, for the ones that had live stream portfolios, because I got so interested in them. Well, that's great. And when they open it up, going back to the life skills and character tree, when they look at their science fair project, they yes, they're going to want to see what they've done um, from a scientific perspective, especially if that student's looking to major in that. But when they look at the attribute tags and they see collaboration, creativity, empathy. Well, they may or may not understand why all those attributes are in there, but if they're interested and they outreach to you for an interview because they want to ask you more about that, you've just won. That's the point of a live stream portfolio, is to help you stand out among applicant, other applicants 
and have you gain their attention so that they want you at their school. And with that, I'll take any questions you guys have. I am so excited. Uh, there are a few <laughs> questions that have come through through the chat. Okay. Um, so I thought I would um, let you take a quick look at the chat. And one question I have is, this is great. Tell me where I'm putting this in my Common App. And one of my people just asked the same thing. Brilliant minds think alike. How do we put this? Where do we put this when we're in the Common App? I know on some schools there's a section that says, you know, do you have a social media presence or something that you want to upload? And you could put the link there. Other places, can you put it where they say if you have a resume and want to upload a resume, can you slide it in there? That's kind of where I was hoping it could go. Yep. So in the most uh, utilized places, in, there's a uh, 250 character freeform field that says if there's anything else you want to tell us about you, put it here. And so usually there's then a preemptive sentence that basically says, you know, this is my digital portfolio, you know, put a little sentence there, paste the link in there. And that's typically where most students are put so that they could have a little sentence preempting their portfolio that you would work on with them, Lee. And then, um, but outside of that, those, there, there are other applications that have, um, you know, the opportunity to put a link in um, in which case you put it there. So yeah, I think, you know, for the most part, um, again, for the common application, most kids are putting it in that in additional information field. Now, keep in mind, if you have additional, something that is specific to the school, um, you wanna put it on, there's that external additional information field in the common app. But then if you go into the school in common app, you know, uh, I know there's a term for that, forgive me, but yeah. if you go you into, go into my colleges and then yes. you're in the your in college the school, section. right. <laughs> I can see it as you can see with my hand, but I'm not helping. Um, so, uh, but you can, there's an additional information within the school as well. So that if you have a school specific portfolio that you want to share that has, you know, some different view of yourself for that school, that's where you want to put that one. Um, so basically, it's in the additional information field. That's the main, main thing. Does that help answer that question? I think that's great. Okay. Now we've got a couple in q and A. I I can yeah. say with this one right out. If you're a senior mm -hmm. and you are not able to upload the content for all categories, will they appear empty or are only the filled categories shown? Only the filled categories are shown. So, um, and that's just so that, you know, for, for that reason, like, you know, if you really um I've, I've only had uh, a few categories then then that's fine and and uh you'll only have the categories that um can be seen so um what you want to do as a senior is you want to consider your activities obviously and you want to consider um and you can kind of I, I know you've already done the reflection point um with uh lee you know to try to figure out activity section and other things if there are um, any ways to kind of show your community involvement, it's gonna be really important. So your website, the website pictures that are within, that are on the public websites of some of the community involvement, they've all already gotten permission from the folks and you're using it as a private, um, in your private portfolio. So you can take some of those pictures from their websites to help you fill in your visual memory box that ultimately can become your portfolio to kind of show your experience a little bit more. Because maybe while you were doing it as a senior, obviously maybe you didn't think about the fact that you should record it in some way or do something. And so that is kind of the way that you can kind of go back um, because you're not using it for a public entity. Um, you can take those pictures and, and other things that are already publicly available on the websites um, for, wherever you participated. Um, so that might be some other ways that you can kind of give that additional depth to um, even an activity that you've listed on your application that, you know, that 150 characters just doesn't show the passion, just doesn't show the magnitude or whatever it might be. And that's where LifeStream can really help kind of bring it 
bring it to life. Um, I agree. The other, yeah. Yeah, that? I'm sorry for interrupting. I agree. No, we have students who have done great things, even started their own foundations, but maybe they were student of the week. You could clip that photo from the paper rather than the link to the paper and put that in. You could put photos that people have taken of you doing those things. Um, so that will give it even more depth. It'll make your activity that you designed and did yourself, which is already super cool. Mm -hmm. You might give it a visual piece. But my question, another question that came across is, let's say you got, you have a great Instagram and you have thousands of visitors for my kids that are right now promoting voting. I love it. I've got these kids out there saying, hey, we are a community of people that can make a difference. We might not be 18 yet, but we have friends who are and we're going to vote this year. And they are getting a lot of followers for that. Can you take a snapshot of an Insta page or something like that and upload it? Yeah, and it, yes, you can. And even with articles, I would also recommend. So if you actually take your page and you go to print it, but you print to a PDF, same with articles. I, I wouldn't put article links in your, in any portfolio, live stream or any others. And the reason is because links break over time. Instagram is different, a little bit different, but um, from a, you know, a student of the week thing, just going back to what you were just saying, um, I would say go to the web page uh, as if you were printing it and then print to PDF and then save that and then put that in your digital memory box. Same kind of thing with Instagram. You can go to print the page, put it in a PDF, wind up saving it in there. You can put a picture of yourself or a picture of whatever's on your Instagram page too. You can you take an image of it um, and uh, you know put that in that, that way. And then what you wanna do is um, potentially either have a Word doc or something that explains it. If, if you need something bigger than, um, there's the, the description is 500 characters. So you should be able to fit a good amount in 500 characters. But if you really are like some kids, especially with the pandemic, created a project for themselves, um, you know, whether it be raising money or again, even voting, their, your passion to vote and help people get out there to vote. If there's a bigger story behind that, put it on a Word document save that you know in the same memory so then that's attached with your instagram because you know a lot of a lot of young people have a lot of instagram followers so just showing that you've gotten a lot of followers you know that's good obviously but what would make it better is the meaning behind it and that would make it more meaningful for the admission professional as well why do you care about voting why do you you know and and without being too um, detailed maybe in, in certain areas of that specific topic, but you know, you want to, you want to um, kind of show your passion to help people just want to get excited and get involved in history. Well, I don't see any more questions. I do want to give you guys a chance to type another one in if you have one. Um, but I think we went over this pretty nicely. If you have any additional questions, you can get in touch with me. Um, you can go and play around on this. Like Anne said in the beginning, I want to give this to all of you who are seniors who think you want to use it. And I want that to be my gift to you because I think that this is a great way to show off everything that you have done. You've had a, a tough year. A lot of schools are, you know, not, you can't test. Some schools aren't looking and all of these different things. So we want to make sure that you differentiate yourself in the best possible way you can. And I think this is a game changer. So for all of you seniors out there, this is my gift to you. Just shoot me a message um, later tonight or tomorrow and say, Haley, I, I think I'm going to take advantage of live streaming. I love calling it that. Live streaming. Yes, start live streaming. Everybody get... start live streaming today. Karen <laughs> just asked, um, Lee, I'm sorry, Karen just asked, when she, as soon as she utilized the tool, right away. Um, Lee actually has a code that she can give to you um, and uh, so that you can start utilizing it right away. And, and it won't cost you <laughs> anything, thanks to Lee. So, yes. Lee, we can't hear you. You're on mute. Yeah. There you go. This is getting, I'm get. I'm trying to get good at this. Um, so that we'll, with that, we'll go ahead and conclude this. And I'm going to let Anne have the final say. 
which is so not typical of me. But um, I want to well, thank you, Anne, for coming on. I want to thank you for helping us differentiate our kids. I want to thank you for being so relevant and allowing us to jump in on this. Again, this is my gift to you guys if you're seniors. Um, I really hope that you'll take advantage of it if you think that it'll help you. And um, I'm going to let Anne send us off. So thank you so much. I just want to thank you, Lee. Thank you. And thank everybody that's on this call. It's just been, it's been great. It's been a pleasure to work with Lee and her team. And I look forward to having all of you as part of what we call our live stream community. Uh, thanks to Lee. And I, I really do hope that you, um, that you start live streaming and seniors, don't be worried. You can do this. It's easy. Just start. You'll figure out, you'll see how easy it is. You guys, I mean, my kids, even my kids were kind of hesitant, like, mom, do I really have to do this? Once they started doing it, it was, you know, different story. And now it's just easy. They're just used to it. So, um, but just get started. And if you need help, um, obviously Lee said to call her. Um, it, you can also, Lee has my contact information or we have our, our customer service at livestreamdigital.com is always, our team is always ready to help um, if you guys, if you guys do need anything. And Lee knows, again, Lee knows my contact information. And thank you all for being here tonight. Start live streaming. <laughs>